channel um today i did a get ready with me um i am going out i'm going to a local club in pittsburgh and young Dolph is in the building so i had to get like super cute today um the outfit that i have on let me stand up and show you guys um this shirt is from fashion nova the necklace is from fashion nova and these shorts are from bcbg and i'll be putting like full body picks up as well um this watch here is from rainbow so yeah um this is my get ready with me club edition i am about to go out with my girls and turn up so you guys let me know how you feel about this look um please rate comment subscribe so i know how i'm doing and um yeah i'm having fun yeah <laughs> stay tuned so you can see how i got this look peace <laughs> okay i'm going to start off with this raw african shea butter that i get from my local beauty supply store and i use this to moisturize my face it's also real good for blemishes and things like that so next i'm going to use my l'oreal brow definer eye pencil in the color dark brunette to fill in my eyebrows i have pretty thick eyebrows so i don't need to use a pomade or anything i normally just use a pencil and i fill in um, a line under my brow above my brow and then i like to fill in from there and that's pretty much how I do my brows. I'm not good at this voiceover stuff. Okay, next I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey just to clean up my eyebrows. I like this because it gives your eyebrows like a nice sleek, like snatched look. So I love doing this step. And I'm just going to go in and blend that concealer out so it all blends in pretty good. And to set my eyelashes so they're like they like stay in place all day I'm going to use this great lash by Maybelline and I think you can use it as mascara or for your eyebrows but I use it for my eyebrows now I'm going back in with my LA girl concealer and warm honey to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow I used a little more <laughs> concealer than I normally would but I just blended it in now I'm going to go into my BH cosmetics neutrals palette and I'm going to take um, this light brown toffee kind of color to as my transition color. And I'm going to just place that right in my crease as a nice transition color. Now I'm going to go into my re re Revealed Smoky Palette by Coastal Scents. And they have a really nice dark chocolate brown that I like to use on my outer V. And as you can see, it's hitting the pan. But I like to use that a lot for my outer V. I don't know. Something about a dark outer V is so sexy to me. And I'm going to take a clean, fluffy, fluffy blending brush to blend those two colors in so that they, you know, there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Now I'm going to go back into my beige cosmetics palette and I'm going to use this um, frosty glittery kind of pink. I have some pink in my shorts so I thought this would be a nice little touch on my eyelids. And now I'm going to take like this champagne gold here and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. And I'm also going to use it in my tear duct as well to give it a little pop now I'm going in with my primer by benefit poor professionals I think it's or benefit I don't know benefit cosmetics <laughs> now I have my NYX uh, conceal correct and contour palette and I like to use the orange um, corrector shade just to go underneath my um, any um, dark spots underneath my eye and around my mouth because I have like I don't know like a little five o'clock shadow <laughs> blend that in I use two different kind of um, foundations. One of them is the, um, uh, what is that again? What kind of foundation do I use? I'm gonna put it in the description box. One is Maybelline Fit Me. I can't remember the um, color because I have like four different colors. And the other one is like Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Sandalwood. And don't mind me because I was getting ready to go out. So I was like pre-gaming. <laughs> um, this concealer that I'm using is Kat Von D Locker Concealer in the color D D31 Warm. And I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. This voiceover stuff is way harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my CoverGirl um, loose powder um, in the color Honey. Just to set 
all over my face. And then I use my Sasha Buttercup powder to set underneath my eyes and everywhere I place my concealer. And I also use that on like my jawline just um, to give it like a contour look without contouring. <laughs> I also contour as well, but I do that too. Now I'm going into my Wet n Wild contouring palette and I'm using that dark shade there just to kind of contour slash bronze my face. It doesn't give much of a difference, but it definitely gives some type of difference. And I also use that same brush to brush, brush away the Access Sasha Buttercup powder. Now I'm going into my Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Rich Mahogany and this is really going to contour my face and make it look a little darker. I'm going back into my BH Cosmetics Neutrals palette because they have some blushes here. And I'm using like this um, hot pink kind of blush on my cheeks. And now I'm just going to set my face with this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray before I apply my highlight. And I'm currently using the Artist Contour Sugar Daddy Highlight. Love this highlight. You can go extreme with this highlight. You can go light. All depends on how much you use. But a little goes a long way with this highlight. And I'm going to set my face again. <laughs> you can never have too much setting spray. Um, I tried putting my eyelashes on on camera, but it just wasn't working out for me. Um, those are just um, eyelashes from the dollar store. Or not the dollar store, from the hair store. <laughs> um, this is eyeliner from um, e.l.f. E.l.f. has like two different black eyeliners. Neither one of them have a name, but they're like two, three dollars. And I just did like a thin eyeliner on my top lid and did like dots on my bottom. And I got that trick from Makeup Shayla. And I'm using this um, Maybelline Mascara Colossal Spider, Spider Effect for my mascara. Um, for my lipstick, it's this matte lip cr cream by Milani in the color Striking. I love their matte lip creams. Like they smell so good and they look popping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and let me know how I did. Stay tuned for some scenes of me turning up and my whole outfit put together. Sit down, little bitch, me on